Well, we all do it. Buy a beautiful gown or tux. You look great. You have a great time. But after the ball, your outfit looks a mess. Cortez Jackson is the founder of Lavasier Suits, and he's got some tips for caring for your carnival ball attire. Okay, so you look fresh. This is how we all go out there looking fresh. And then after this I've had dresses I've thrown away, <laughs> they were that bad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but you know, Mardi Gras season, ball season, you're, you're, you're going to spill something. Oh, yeah. You're going to spill something. So um, some, some few tips that I have in regards to kind of caring for the garments before getting them to the dry cleaners to kind of help ease some of that um, the stains or just kind of okay. help preserve the garment until you get it to the cleaners. One, if you spill alcohol or food on it, of course, soda water or seltzer water, just kind of take that and rub it on the uh, gently on, mm. on the spot to kind of lift the stain. And also, too, we, we know that we're going to be um, eating chicken wings meatballs. He and just got straight to it. You know you're going to be eating chicken wings. We, do, we are going to be eating we chicken We are going to be eating chicken wings. Yeah. And of course, you know, the grease may yeah. pop on your dress. It may get on your clothes or anything like that. So with that, take a, uh, a artificial sweetener. So like a Splenda really? or Sweet and Low and put it on that grease stain. It's going to lift the grease out of the garment no. for you. Oh, look at this yeah. magic. Yeah. See, I yeah. just stuffed mine in the bag with the stain for like five weeks. And then I'm like, oh, that should go and to the cleaners. And you try to take it to the cleaners and they're like, we and can't help you We out. can't help you, man. Yeah. Wow, okay, that's super helpful. And also too, gentlemen, we know that the ladies are gonna be made up and done up with their, you know, makeup and, and lipstick. Yes. And um, you know, it, sometimes we may get some lipstick stains on our on our collar, on our or on our lapel. So with that, just grab a piece of bread off the table, white bread, ball it up, and blot the stain, the lipstick no. stain out. And it'll lift the lipstick. And um, also too, I would encourage you to have a tie pin in your pocket so you can go in the bathroom and just ch -ch -ch. Wow. Be under the jar for two minutes and you'll be good to go back Perfect. on the dance floor. I didn't even know there was any saving for a lot of this stuff. It is. It is. And it, it, a lot of people don't know. And they end up, like you said, throwing it away or just kind of putting it to the side. Yeah, I need to resurrect some clothing side. after <laughs> yeah. this segment. Yeah. All right, what about the alcohol? You know, what are we drinking? Wine. Wine. Cold water. Immediately. Really? Immerse it in cold water. That way the wine will kind of get lifted out of the garment. And that way you can take it to the cleaners. And they'll be able to kind of do what they do to, to treat the garment. So. Perfect. What about chocolate, though? And if you have chocolate, so of course you may eat some dessert, some chocolate after the wine, and you spill some chocolate on your gown or your tuxedo, get some mild soapy water, um, preferably Dawn if it's available, and it'll lift kind of that, that chocolatey, greasy stain out of it. And when you rinse it, you want to rinse it from the back so the water flows through the back of the garment to the wow. front to lift the stain out of it. So, you have all the tips and tricks. Yeah. Cortez, this was great. All right, I still need you tonight, so stick around to schedule an appointment with Lava Seer Suits. Call 475-6001 or visit LavaSeerSuits.com. You can also follow Lava Seer Suits on Instagram. Well, coming up, don't let your budget keep you from the Mardi Gras balls. Shira Ray is back, and she's going to have us looking fabulous by giving some new life to that black dress that we all have in the closet.